Hello and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolve with me, DX Phoenix. And I apologise if I sound a bit weird and croaky. I have got um, something wrong with my throat and uh, one side of my uh, jaw. But we're going to try and do this anyway. I'm going to try and be as clear as possible. But we're here and I've got something interesting to show you. I've actually added another mod to my servers and we're going to start playing with it right now. So let's actually get started. All right then, ladies and gentlemen. So the new mod that I've had added to the server. Uh, just a quick note before we actually get into that. I have actually moved some of my dinos over to here for breeding. Of course, I spend a lot of my time here on Ragnarok now, so a lot of the breeding wasn't happening. So, this should hopefully solve that for us, but for now, this new little mod I've got, well, I'm just going to my inventory and come up here. I do have a ton of engrams, I've been really busy in getting this base sorted and just doing tons of crafting. If I come down here a bit. I have actually added the steampunk mod. So we're going to play with that for a little bit I think. These work at storage. Who knows. But what we want right now to get started is this blast furnace. So let's get it. What we're then going to need to do or have is the steam workshop. Cool. We'll have that. Right. We can't craft the workshop yet because you'll see in the crafting requirements it requires glass panels and copper ore, or smelter copper ore. How do we get them? Because they're not part of the normal. Well, that's where the blast furnace comes in, ladies and gentlemen. So, I can hear pterodons. Let's get this blast furnace crafted. I had all the stuff in my inventory ready so I could just go straight away and craft this. Right then, so I'm just going to pop this down over here. I'm just going to make sure it's not going to clip in behind. There we go. And there we have it. Ooh, loads of gears and cogs and coppery panels. Right, let's look inside this thing. Right, so. This shows us how to create the um, glass panels. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, copper ore. Now that's going to be coal, metal, and rock. Right, so how do we make coal? Coal is just going to require wood. Right, so I now need to run off, do a little bit of maths, and work out what I need in terms of wood. Turn from coal into turn from wood to coal, then coal into ore as well as stone and everything. Because I need 50 of this for that. This glass won't be too difficult because that's just going to be 100. So I'm going to get the crafting sorted for the next thing so we can then look at other stuff we want to build. Because actually, if I just come into this. And we're just going to scroll all the way down to where some fun stuff are. Oh, that's some of our fun stuff is. Right. Right, so we have all the way down here in the 90s, we have the steam bot. That'd be nice to play with. Not going to lie. Mechanical Rhino, which is going to be removed soon. So if I wanted to play with that, I need to do it now. Dino item grabber. Grabs items from Dino's inventory. That'd be handy. That I can work with. That I'm going to look into, see how it works. But for now, I'm wanting this bad boy. Ladies and gentlemen, I want this. The airship. So, there's the airship. 
Let's say how to craft these parts. So that's what I want. I'm going to look into parts of this. May want the submarine as well, but I'm going to think about these other things. We're going to think about this, and maybe for another video, if you guys want them, let me know. I will get them. Oil barrel, highly combustible fuel used for advanced power. Hmm. But yes, I want the airship. That's going to be amazing. Probably because if you've seen any of, I've seen a couple of the images I posted on my Instagram, and I think I sent at least one of them to Twitter. We have the Quetzal, and I like the idea of a mobile base moving around. So this would be real fun. So oh, by the look of it, it's powered by oil barrels, so we're going to need that as well. So before I actually ramble on anymore, let's get started and actually get into some of this. And I'm going to get the stuff for the workstation. So back in a moment. Okay then, so welcome back, and we have this crafted. Just make sure again it's not going to press and clip into the wall. That's fine, I'm just going to bring it a bit closer. Voila! Our steam workstation. So, steam powered. We have the magnetic hike generator powered by a trike cool it's actually fairly cool and it actually requires copper plates as well how do we make plates plates in here this is actually crafting up some more of this right craft copper items here Right then, now what we're going to need to do is scroll through this and find more things that we may want. Ooh, there's so many things. Plant station, oil tank, oil house. Industrial copper forge, that might be quicker. I'll grab that, but I'm not going to use it just yet. Wow, there's so many things. Right, well then guys, I'm just going to be right back again. I'm going to look at what we need to progress further in the Steampunk mod and get some other bits. And catch you guys in just a moment. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. And I'm back after what feels like a lot of waiting and work for myself. And this is purely because I found out how to build the airship. I need this, the construction yard, which I've managed to build. I'll show you in a moment what is required to build this thing. So, as you can see, yep, it's quite huge. Yep. Now we're going to go inside the thing. Right, so we've got airship, we've got fuel. All right, to build the airship, we're going to need. The airship deck, yep, the airship hull, and airship propeller, right. Now let's look at this. The propeller. 450 copper plates. 250 cementing paste. Um, 16 copper wedges. And 1,500 metal ingots. Okay, that's a lot. Granted, that is a lot. We're also needing... As well as more cementing paste, another 250, 350 reinforced copper ceiling, plain copper ceiling. That is for the airship deck. So that's for two. And once I mentioned for the propellers, I need six of them. Six. So I need to do that recipe six times over. And then there's the hull itself. So, 
I've got a ton of work to do to build that airship. But that airship is going to be worth it. It's going to be so much fun. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that airship. I'm going to get all the components ready for this airship. I'm going to do it. However, I will not be able to do it this episode. It's going to have to be next episode when we finish building the airship and take her out for a flight. So I'm sorry guys, but I'm going to have to end it here I'm afraid. And I haven't waited that long, I've actually managed to grow my beard back. But anyway, I'm in DX Phoenix. hope you've enjoyed a brief look at the steampunk mod because we're going to be doing some more of it in the next episode but take care and i'll catch you guys next time goodbye